Hello, this is Bill with Money for Coffee. Today's video is going to be on uh, Get Response Landing Pages Mobile. So that's Get Response Landing Pages Mobile. So today I'm just going to do, show you guys how to do the uh, mobile portion of it. So um, if you don't have a Get Response uh, account, there's a link in the description. It's completely free, but I already have an account, so I'll just log in. Okay, I'm logging in. This takes a second or two. Okay, what you want to do is when you come to your dashboard, you want to come over to tools. Now, sometimes it'll it'll list, I didn't just click on it, and sometimes it'll list all these items up here, or some of them, so I don't know. Or sometimes it'll be in the drop-down. But lately, it's always been in the drop-down, but I've seen it both ways. So I just want to let you know if you don't see it here, it'll be up, the landing pages will be up here. So anyway, you just come to tools, click on it, come down to landing pages. You click on that. Okay, then you scroll down and you just pick whatever landing page you have and this isn't about building a landing page I have another I have another video on that but this is just um, the get response landing pages for mobile so we just go to let's click on it here you just go to edit page okay okay so here you're on your uh, landing page and now what you do is I should have neatened this up a little bit, but I didn't really like how this looks, but let me see here. <laughs> I just did this for just to show everybody just for an example. But anyway, you come up here and you go to um, your mobile. There's a little mobile phone at the top and you just click on that. And that shows you how it'll look in mobile. So it builds a version. Here's a desktop. It just builds a version of that. And then if you have to go in here and change the headline, you can. You just click on it. it it's the same as, like I said, exactly. If you want to make something a little different, but it's exactly the same. It's drag and drop. You just type on it. What you see is what you get. So. You see, you just type in here. You can also change the font. You can change you can change the color, just whatever you want there. Hit OK. Okay, you can also change this. Like I said, you can make it a different version, but most people keep it the same. But you might have to sometimes adjust something in here. Make it a little bit smaller, you know, for mobile. And then just we'll move this up so it's closer here. And you can see it's real easy, it's just all drag and drop. And like I said, it's just the same as the other one. Just go in here. You can adjust, um, you hit the two paintbrushes and the pencil, or the, I'm sorry, the one paintbrush, the one pencil. And then you can adjust and make it, you can round off your button if you like. A lot of people do that. It's up to you. You can change the font size. You can change the font. See so if you want to go in here and change the font. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. Let's see. But so you can you can change all that. You can bold it. You can do whatever you want in there. It's it's very easy, very simple. Okay, and then your email address. If you just click in here, like at the top, it'll bring up. You can change the color. But if you if you want to change things in the form. I believe I don't think there's a way to do it in uh, the mobile because you can't you can't pull up that form I, that you can pull up in the um, in the so you have to if you wanted to change some like that if you wanted to change something to form like if you wanted to add the name you'd have to go back to the uh, desktop version and then hover over this and then see where it says web form fields click on that. And then you can add like the first name if you wanted to add something. But you can't do it in the mobile version. But once you do it in the desktop version, it'll transfer over. So that's that's pretty much it. Like I said, you just go to the top, hit the mobile version, and this will this will show you what it looks like. You might have to move some stuff around because it might be too big. So anything you have to adjust, make smaller. You just go ahead and click on it and adjust the size or whatever you need to do. And then after you're done with doing that, always just hit save. 
and then hit preview. I mean, that's pretty good. That's fine. I mean, obviously, you know, you're going to add some more stuff to it, a better title. This is just for a demo, just for a quick example. But, you know, that would work fine for your mobile. But, hey, guys, if you find this uh, video helpful, please like and subscribe. That way you can always refer back to it in your liked videos. Uh, I know a lot of times I could never uh, I find videos I find helpful I could never find again. So now I always like them. And then I can just, like I said, go to my liked videos and uh, if you don't have get response, there's a link below. It's completely free and you get all the enhanced features free for th uh, 30 days. And after 30 days, you can keep the, um, they take away the um, enhanced features. But if you want to keep the enhanced features and you pay, it's $19 if you want to pay monthly. But all right, guys, take care and thank you so much.